Landboards presents using pogo pins for custom test equipment. Pogo pins or spring loaded pins are useful for quite a few testers. One example situation is our Screwduino card. Testing it required screwing and unscrewing a lot of terminals and having pins that spring loaded down onto that connectors, the screw terminals, was much more convenient. For the tester, we sandwiched together several old revision cards. The lower two cards keep pins straight and the upper card is where pins solder into. Here's the bottom view of the same card. You can see the pin sticking out from the bottom. And here's a zoomed in picture. You note carefully the head type is a kind of contact that will make good uh, connection to screw terminals. Here's the tester sitting on top of a unit to be tested. And here's a side view of the same tester. And finally a view from the other side. When you go to use the tester, you have to press down with a fair amount of force. Normally you require two hands with as many pins. Another card had pins which were inaccessible from the outside. That's Proto I to C card, and we built a tester for that using pogo pins as well. The chip in the center of this card near the top connects up to breadboard pins, and those are inaccessible from an external connector. So we put some proto pins on a small test card, which includes resistors and LEDs, as well as a connection down the ground. Thanks for watching our video, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.